as we um, as we reach uh, halfway mark on our programming today, um, I would like to now welcome a new set of speakers um, with remarks uh, from uh, ministers and global leaders. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing your uh, ambitions, uh, your actions, and your commitments. And to begin with, um, I would like to welcome Her Excellency Ms. Aminath Shana, Minister of Environment, Climate Change and Technology of the beautiful Maldives. Minister, the floor is yours. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, and assalamu alaikum. Excellencies and colleagues, I'd like to thank the forum organizer for hosting this important gathering. It is particularly important for the Maldives because our country's energy challenges are enormous. The Maldives depends entirely on imported fossil fuels in meeting its energy needs. This causes huge headaches for us. The imported diesel costs us a fortune. We are at the mercy of volatile global energy markets and our islands are scattered across the sea, making economies of scale impossible. Considering this, it is perhaps no surprise that the government's policy is to quit fossil fuel as quickly as possible and replace them with something the Maldives has in abundance, sunshine. To achieve this transformation from an economy run on diesel to one powered with solar, we will require substantial amounts of foreign capital and investments. It will also need reliable data and innovative technology. Thankfully, we stand to benefit on both counts. Firstly, the ever falling price of renewable energy and battery storage makes the Maldives transition to renewables an increasingly attractive investment. Secondly, Maldives stands to benefit from the digital revolution happening in the energy sector. The adoption of intelligent, sophisticated database technology including artificial intelligence for control and monitoring system is enab enabling new business models and more efficient asset management. There are many areas where digitization of energy sector can have a significant impact. Smart connected appliances at home, smart meters and energy digital twins are areas we are interested in. The combination of artificial intelligence with physics-based models will also lead to leaner designs, low operating costs, and even cheaper clean energy. As the transformation builds momentum, the energy sector is also facing new challenges. For example, cyber or digital disruption risk can affect every operation within power grids, especially with the increased use of connected devices and automated controls. The pace of digitization in the energy sector may potentially outpace cybersecurity and digital management capabilities, resulting in greater risk. Some important issues to address are, how can we leverage digital technologies for the development in the Maldives? And how can the development community work together to maximize the benefit of innovation and digital transformation in our institutions? I hope this forum will provide a productive venue for you to discuss fundamental changes in the development and opportunities regarding innovation, technology, and data. The Maldives is looking to lead the way in technological innovation to bring openness, transparency, and security. With appropriate policies, we stand to benefit tremendously in this new era. We face important challenges but also great opportunities. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Minister, for your, for your remarks. Uh, wishing you a beautiful evening.